it seems to me that over the new year, over the Christmas time, over the holidays, that everybody on YouTube has just been ridiculously busy, renovating their offices, painting, completely redecorating, and it seems that now we've got a million and one videos of office tours and office redesigns and things like that, so I thought, why not? Anyway, desk tour 2022, let's go. Okay, so the first thing on the desk is the lamp. Now the lamp costs 20 pounds, I think I got it from Argos or something like that, and it fits the aesthetic. I don't actually ever use it, it because the light is just a little bit too harsh, so I end up normally using my video light just while I'm working at the computer, because that's nice and soft, but that light, it fits the aesthetic and I can use it for my product photos, and you'll see on my Instagram, I actually I do turn the light on for all my product photos, because it gives a nice flare with my Polar Pro Gold Morphic filter. <laughs> so yeah, that's it's mainly for aesthetic. Next to that is a Nomad base station. They cost 150 quid. This one charges the watch, it charges AirPods, it charges my phone, it charges everything in one place. So I don't need a million cables draping over my desk, just making it look a mess. So, plus again, it fits the aesthetic. It's matte black, it's slate, it just looks nice. Next up is the desk mat. Now, if you've watched my product photography video, you'll know that I like to use this desk mat because it's just got some texture to it. And it just, it, again, it looks military. It just looks cool. Now the desk mat, it looks great, but it also does feel way nicer to run the mouse on when I'm on the computer rather than just the straight desktop. It's just, ugh. yeah, the mat just makes it a lot nicer. But And the fact that it doubles up as a backdrop for product photography is even better. And it costs 14 quid on Amazon. Now the computer, the main workhorse of the desk is the 2020 iMac. It's 5K display, it's fully specced out, i9, uh, 16 gigs of graphics. Uh, the only thing it's not specced out on is its storage space because why spend so much money on Apple storage space? Makes no sense. But this is what I tend to edit all of my videos, all of my photos on because the display on this computer is just unbelievable. It's not the nano texture display it's just the regular display but we all know apple displays you can't beat them i don't tend to go for mechanical keyboards or anything like that and to be honest it doesn't really make a difference to me i've had mechanical keyboards when i used to game on pc when i'm editing videos i don't feel like i need a mechanical keyboard i'm not really that bothered so i like to use a trackpad from apple and just the standard keyboard and mouse that comes with the computer. The main reason that I have a trackpad is because I like to slide through a timeline, zoom in and out, I can double click just with two fingers, I don't need to press a button on the keyboard and the mouse, so the trackpad just saves a lot of time. Now underneath all that is the desktop itself. On the desktop, if you've seen one of my older videos on how to do this, you'll know that this top isn't actually wood. The actual top of the desk is black. Now I've wrapped the top of the desk in a vinyl wood wrap. I didn't want to spend so much money on a wooden desktop, so I can just spend 10 quid, wrap it all, and then if I ever want to change it, I can just peel it all back off and put a new wrap down. So let's say I want to change my backdrop to white on some product photos, or I just want to change the aesthetic of the desk altogether. I can peel all this off and just put down a nice white vinyl wrap. And it costs maybe 10 quid for a roller wrap. Absolutely love that, saving myself money everywhere. Now next is the mic and mic stand. They live on my desk simply because I'm always filming videos from this angle, so they have to live on the desk. Because I can't be bothered just always getting them out of the gear rack and putting it back down. The less setup I have to do for one of these videos, the better. So that always lives on the desk. And if you've seen my what's in my camera bag video, you'll know how much I love that little 3D printed stand. It's even set at the perfect angle for speaking. Just, oh, love that. 
This is a mic clamp that I have converted into a top-down camera rig. So I can just slot that arm into the side and then bring a top-down camera rig over. If I'm doing unboxings, if I'm doing product photos and I need a tripod and I want both my hands in the shot, then I can literally, I can take it out, I can put it back in, jobs are good. Un. And that whole setup costs around 40 quid. You do have to do a little bit of rigging yourself, but it's convenient and in my opinion, extremely worth it. Now this is a pretty big one, the main desk itself. The desk itself I bought from FlexiSpot and I was so excited when I first started rigging this entire room out to be my office to have an electric desk because everybody's got an electric desk. Everybody's got a desk that goes up and down. I'm making my own office. Why would I not get one? I've got the opportunity. Let's get it. 180 quid. That's not a bad price for an electric desk. Do I ever actually use it? Absolutely not. No, I cannot be bothered to stand at this desk. Plus, if I do raise the desk up, the cord and the back of the iMac is just too short, so the iMac will slam straight off the desk. The lamp in the corner will just smash into my main light. So, to be honest, it was a terrible idea, but it's cool. <laughs> then, just outside the desk, the chair. The brown leather chair that I'm always sat in. I got it for 80 quid again from Argos, and it's not the most comfortable chair in the world. It squeaks a little bit when you rock forwards and backwards, but just fits the aesthetic again. It looks cool. So the entire setup all together, the lamp on the desk, the iMac, the desk itself, the mat, wrap, chair, everything, the entire setup costs £3,823. Now, of course, that 3,000 quid is the iMac itself. So if you just wanted to get the desk on its own, it's 180 quid, and that includes the desktop. You want the chair, 80 quid. You've spent 260 quid. So overall, it's not an expensive desk setup, bar the iMac. And it's quite a versatile desk setup as well. Like There's a lot of different things I can do with this. So I can rig cameras out, I can take product photos, I can sit here and edit on my laptop and my iMac at the same time. It's a nice size, it's electric, so the option's there. And it's not costing an arm and a leg. Anyway, that's my desk tour 2022. The office tour is coming soon. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff you already love to do. I will see you in the next one. City.